Hey, obviously comes from the draft last night, and that would be Jordan Love to the Packers. Uh, what? So we we got to react to it last night in real time. After after sitting on it for a day, what are your thoughts now? Uh, now that you've actually had time to kind of compress, you know what what exactly happened. Yeah, that this was the biggest shocker of the night, I think, for everybody. I don't know that there was another draft pick that was anywhere close yeah. on the out of the blue. Um, if you go back and you listen to uh, the Pat McAfee take on it, in there somewhere, somebody, one of the guys brings up the concept that Rodgers has either said to media or he's been open with the front office that he sees the 18th hole. Yeah. And, and I think if at any point in time you get to in the professional sports world hinting towards retirement, especially this franchise who dealt with Brett Favre doing that, I think as soon as you see the writing on the wall, I actually think it's okay to start looking for that guy's replacement. Yeah, I can understand it. I mean, they, so there's yes, nobody behind He has four him. years left on his deal and a lot of money. A- I think there are enough places to where if you think Jordan Love is the guy in a year and he sits behind him or two, I think Rodgers carries a name and an ability to where if he wants to keep playing, um, because I don't think he's got a no trade clause in his deal. He's got a lot of money, but I don't think he had no trade. I think it, I think plenty of franchises need a quarterback and, and I don't think they would have a problem trying to make it happen one time with him. Yeah, I, I do agree with you on that. Um, I it, it surprised me that they they used some, they had ten picks when the night started, and they used some of that draft capital to move up to get this pick. That's right now, their reasoning behind that they said was, uh, or it's been reported one way or another, that they were worried that Indy was going to move up to get him. Yeah, and Indy never actually made the call to move up with any of the teams in front of Green Bay. So, you didn't but really have but to. But you don't know that. When right, you don't know that. You don't yeah. know that. No, 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 I know, I know. But, but what I'm saying is, is, do we think that Jordan Love was worth moving up in this draft for? And it's not up to us. Obviously, it's up to say, them. I, I don't. I don't know that that's a – none of us have done the homework on this kid to, to make a, a definitive answer. Fans can believe what they want. I liked him from a perspective of if I wasn't going to get Burrow or Tua, he's the only quarterback left in this draft that I would even draft. Yeah. Out of all the rest of the guys that are going to get taken, he's it. Because he's exactly what I want in a quarterback. He, I he's think, Patrick Mahomes 2.0. That's what I think. Like I I don't think I don't know that he's going to be that good. I think he is the boom or bust okay, that, that, that could that, be insanely productive. That's the logic that I want in my quarterback. I need to know when I throw you out there in two years of of, of game film, do you have it or do you not? Yeah. I can't I can't play this game where these guys kind of sit and linger and now the Titans have given Ryan Tannehill fifty million dollars for two years. And you're thinking, really? Like yeah. you is he that much better than Mariota? Like, I just no. can't – like, he's way more available than Mariota has been <laughs> last year. But, you know, I just don't want to live in that world. I don't. I mean, don't I don't forget want the rest of my team to be really good. Tannehill also to had always injuries. be a quarterback away. Yeah, and that's that's the thing. Like, it, 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 it didn't make a whole lot of sense because – and it's so funny. On, on McAfee's show, they had Aaron Rodgers on for a long time. And they brought up, you know, what would you want in the draft? And he mentioned that it would be fun to get, like, it would be kind of cool, his words, if they drafted a skill position guy because they have not drafted one since him. They haven't drafted a wide receiver in the first round since 2002. Like, that is insane. Uh, they, they've they never really gone after getting him a lot of help. And we talked about it on the show last night. And yeah, you can talk about Jordy Nelson. You can talk about uh, Adams. It, you know, you it, yes, we can talk about some of those guys, but they haven't made it a priority to help out that offense at all. 
the whole time that Rodgers has been there, it, it's kind of crazy when you go back and look at it. You know, you've got what everybody believes is one of the best quarterbacks, maybe top five quarterback in, in NFL history as far as talent goes. Um, and you never really gave him any help. You know, it, he's only 36 years old. You were one game from a Super Bowl last year. They they've given him good defenses. They've given him good offensive lines. They've given him. They just haven't given him the toys. But once again, Tom Brady's made an entire career, and and he he Agreed, had one year with Gronk and and uh, and Hernandez. Yeah, he had two years with uh, Randy Moss. Like, yeah. but that's it. He's played for twenty. I'm with you, but, I, he's but I don't think we're comparing the same thing. Anybody has been half decent, very comparable. I and trying to compare him to Tom Brady, I don't I don't know is necessarily fair. But here's the problem. We keep saying he doesn't have weapons, he doesn't have weapons. How's he okay? So let's compare him to Russell Wilson. All right. Russell Wilson won a Super Bowl and his weapons weren't any better than Aaron Rodgers has ever had. Yeah, but Aaron Rodgers has never had a defense like like Wilson had. Oh, that's a, that, okay, that's, that's just, Come that's on. just not true. It's just Man, not true. The year they won the Super Bowl, that defense was loaded. Yeah, they won a Super Bowl with it. The same way Russell Wilson won a Super Bowl with a loaded I, defense. Okay. I just said I'm comparing him to Russell Wilson. Yeah. It's so a, Russell Wilson is playing better with nothing than Rodgers is playing better with, quote-unquote, nothing. And Adams is a better receiver than Russell Wilson's ever had. Ever. I'm just tired of the excuses. That's it. I'm I, just tired of them. I don't know that they're necessarily excuses, but I, you know, I do see where you're coming from. I get that that some teams are capable of winning, and obviously the Packers were one game from the Super Bowl last year. That's right. You know, and, and right. it wasn't. I don't know that it was necessarily the offense that had. You know, it, yeah, they had problems scoring against the 49ers. Everybody did, uh, other than you know the Saints. But you know, I, I don't know, I. I would have loved to have seen either some defensive line help because, I mean, the 49ers had 186 yards before contact running yeah, the ball. Yeah, but the Packers, before that game last year, the Packers' defense was one of the best defenses we have ever seen. Yeah. Yeah, Sean that's jumps in, by the way. That's the problem. So, uh, Sean jumped in. I think he got in a little late. Uh, the Packers had no reason to trade up to get love. I get why they got him, though. Um, he wants to know uh, what we think of the Chargers taking Herbert. Uh, I mean, I, you needed a quarterback, so <laughs> he was the third one on the board. Like, I, I, I think it's fine. You know, you got to let him develop. Uh, as far as, you know, I, I don't think Herbert. But that's very the good. problem. That team's not ready for development. That team's ready to win now. Yeah, I, I, that, it, therein the lies the issue with the way the team is constructed and the team that drafted it. Yeah, they're not set up for the future. They're set up to win. Right, right now. now. So I don't think it was a good spot. Because they're going to come up to a point where all those guys are ready to get paid in the next year or two. Yeah. Uh, Fletchy jumped in. If you're one game away from a Super Bowl, why would you not try to get a player that will play immediately? I'm not I'm not discrediting that. I, once again, the pick was shocking. Okay? The pick caught me off guard, and I did not expect it at all. But I'm going to tell you, if I'm the front office and I heard that guy talking about I've seen the 18th hole – I don't want to wait until he leaves. If he retires after next year and we didn't draft a quarterback, I don't want to wait and draft one once he's gone. Yeah. No, I, I understand I that. Understand. And you and I have agreed. There's a lot of talent left in this draft because they didn't take help for him in, in pick one. It doesn't mean how many skill players come out of the third and fourth round. I mean, a lot, a lot. The issue is that they don't have another pick until pick number 62. I mean, there's yeah, but we still can make them trade picks. They can get picks. They'll 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 make something happen. I yeah, mean, but at, and that's the thing. They it, they used some of that capital last night to move up to get this guy, and it's just, it's it's a shocking pick. Like it it doesn't shocking. make on the surface it's it shocking. makes no sense, but they could look like the smartest people in the room if something happens with Rodgers and he just decides he doesn't want to if play. If he gets anymore, hurt or, again, which he's done every year, yeah. If he gets hurt again, last year's the first time he's played sixteen games in a long time. Yeah, who in, who was the in, guy from UCLA that uh, that ended up having to play a few games? It just well, looked, uh, Hunley Hunley yeah, was Brent one Hunley. guy. Yeah, yeah, and he was terrible. And yeah. he was just he was just awful. And if Love comes in and Love can play, then you then you find a new home for for Rogers and you just say thanks, man. We appreciate it. But that'd be an amazing problem to have. You're the franchise that gets to go from Brett Favre to Aaron Rodgers. To Jordan Love, if he's the guy that's got the goods. Yeah, you're you're right. I 
it was it was incredibly shocking. Um, but I mean, they they could look like uh, geniuses when this is all said and done. Sean jumps in on Periscope. He said, "Where do you see Micah Pittman going?" Uh, it, once you get into the second round, all bets are off. There, I I got no idea. I got no idea where any of these guys are going to go at this point. Uh, I, I, I don't started know. looking at, at I can't, draft I, odds. The, there's just two the two guys that didn't get drafted last night, and I, I cannot fathom why or how when cornerbacks went like crazy and a ton of wide receivers. I don't know how T. Higgins didn't get drafted. We had six receivers get drafted, and T. wasn't one of them. That makes no sense to me. I can't, I can't I can't explain that. I think that. That we had seven, actually, last night. Oh, seven. Holy shit. Then that's, yeah. that's ridiculous. That's insane. And and then the other the other side of that is um, I, I can't believe all the corners went. Safeties, safeties in the NFL actually can wreck a defense, okay, or wreck an offense. They, they can wreak havoc more than one cornerback can lock down a side of a field. Yeah. And I can't believe McKinney is still there. That's, yeah. That's it. Like I, that, I would imagine those... they'll be gone early, um, and we'll we'll talk about that. You know, at the end of the show when we talk about the uh, best players left on the board, et cetera. Let's go on and run through some of these other topics real quick. Hopefully, everybody uh, fires back in. McKinnon jumped in on Facebook. He said, "I'm alive, gents. That is definitely good." Uh, a lot of us were not feeling alive this morning when we got up. Uh, it was a long evening, and uh, and we're glad everybody tuned in for uh, for that live show. It was a massive success. Uh, Joseph says, "I thought Swift was going." Um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know that. I don't know how many people had Clyde being the first running back off the board, but they would have made Nobody. a fortune. Nope, yeah. nobody did. I but mean, I would he, tell you the report. The reports from Andy Reid and the GM of the GM had his guy, and he had Clyde, and Andy Reid had Clyde, and they didn't talk to each other. And then when they talked, they said, "Who do you got?" They both said their name. They're like, "Wow, what are the chances that we both like the same guy?" When you know, that's not it. And so he calls Patrick and he asks Mahomes, give me a name. We're not going to tell you what we're leaning. I want to know your opinion. He said, give me Clyde. Hail to the Chiefs. Yeah. And that's it. Oh, yeah. All, th- all three of them wanted Clyde over everyone else. I, I I just think that that was something I was more proud about that than any of the LSU picks I had last night. Oh yeah, you you got a little emotional. It was uh, that it was one definitely that fun. one meant the most to me. <laughs> Mitchell it jumped really in, did. said uh, lots of talent left in the second round. Should be fun tonight. Yeah, we're uh, we're going to talk about that here in a minute. We're going to kind of fly through some of these other topics. Um, 